Hello lovely people, welcome back to the channel. New Patreon reward is about to come. My uh, dear student Philip is on the end of the other side of the business and what we decided to do today is that I'm going to give him queen odds and I'm going to play one minute versus five. So basically I'm signing my death sentence here really really hardcore but uh, we will see how we go. So we are going to start off with one minute each and then I'm going to add some time. Oh, I forgot that. Okay, so let's do this. So he will accept the challenge now, hopefully. Yes, challenge accepted. Let's give him a ton of time. Just for the heck of it. Like five minutes will do, I suppose. And let's get started. All right, GLHF. Oh, that's it. The ultimate game starter when you're a queen down. We are trying to throw him off balance right away. Is it working? Yeah, it is, it is working really beautifully. He's wasting time. Brilliant. Um, yeah, this, this is ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> queen down and one minute on the clock versus five. Yeah, I don't really see how this is not going to be an absolutely hopeless cause. But uh, yeah, my, my only chance is, funnily enough, uh, is to win on the clock, which is what I'm really trying to do. Um, basically, my strategy is going to be to avoid any sort of swaps as best as I can. And uh, keep all the dudes on the board and just... Um, Play faster than he does, like more than five times faster, that is. Um, and so far, I guess I'm not doing too badly in this department. Yep, I can waste time really, really well here. I feel a little bit ashamed that this is the strategy I have chosen, but I mean, let's face it, <laughs> I'm playing a queen down, I can't just go gung ho and. <laughs> Pretend that I can attack anything because I certainly can't. All right, I can't avoid that swap, so I might as well force it. Um, at least he gives up a bishop for a knight. Yuppie! Positionally speaking, we are already ahead. So now I wanted to prevent e4. Uh, oh, come on, man. That was not fair. Um, nope, knight will take. Um... Yeah, it's getting fun. He's wasting a lot of time. He's wasting a lot of time. All right. Should I play e4 or should I not? Now that he put rook d8 there, I want. I'll just come back here. Actually, it's what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push this in. And uh, I'll just sit there. Ah, that's awesome. This is basically my only way to make him think and come up with plans and strategies that might require time. Is it a blunder? Whoa, watch Philip that. Alright. Now we have got a pawn for the queen. That, that's beauty. That's beauty. And in fact, he's. Yeah. I was about to say he's struggling guarding this, but then I realized that. Uh, no, he's not. He is not struggling guarding this at all. He have got 75 pieces and an extra queen. So <laughs> this is not going to be an issue whatsoever. But once again, the objective is to win on time. He did donate this pawn away too. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that was kind. Of course, giving back the queen for the sake of shredding material is always a very good strategy in these scenarios, so probably the cleanest win for him now is just to simply take me here, but I don't think he will. And if he allows me to play knight of three, then again it feels like uh, <laughs> um, I'm doing acceptably. That's the best I can say at the moment. Like it's all about time. Time, time, time. Could pretty much remove knight d7 here, no? Ooh, that actually hurts. Dang it. 
because I can't drop back because this is hanging. Oh, that was good. Okay, I can't sit around, so. Oh, this is going to be tight because now a lot of pieces are coming off. Oh, okay, that was interesting. You should have just taken an E5. Actually, knight e5 is a bit annoying because after takes, he has got knight takes check and then take back with the queen. And then my king side is very badly compromised. I'm not sure what I will do against that. Nope. Oh, okay. Didn't have to worry about that one. Knight e5, I suppose. But again, after takes bishop g2, I will have bishop d5 incoming, so he has to watch out a bit. Knight g5 is now a threat. That's actually quite cute. Yeah, he just fell for it, so now we won. Wow. Who would have thought that this was going to happen? Um, yeah, that, that was very unfortunate from his end. Um, but, um, yeah. It's sadly for him, it's a scenario where it's not even hard to convert because queen takes, pawn takes, bishop d6, pawn f4, ef4, rook a6, followed by d6, d7, d8 is a totally false sequence. And he can't really get out of that. Now, I don't really want to take this queen. I want him to take me and thereby giving me a pass pawn too. So I'm just going to muck around and yeah, I might even play rook f5, forcing him to take me rather than uh, me taking him but uh, yeah he caught up on time with me as in he lost essentially on time by now so yeah i will just bring up the king here that's what i'm gonna do um right so that was one one to me buddy all right so we abort this and then we do rematch again so that it uh, pops back to my side on the Okay, on the white side. This opening is basically the ultimate quarter when you are a queen and four minutes down. Oh, wait. Um, Alright, let's give him a bit more because it's not cool that I'm losing. I'm winning on time all the time. So I gave him now, what, seven minutes. Okay, new opening. Let's see how this one is working out for him. I was busy with giving him time in my time. That's a horrendous mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I know what I'm going to do this time. I will hold castling back until he castles. I wait, yeah, and then I'm going to castle here. But I don't want to reveal my hand too early. So this time, I'm going to change strategy and I'm going to try to attack. I mean, let's face it. What do you do when you're a queen down and you don't have time on your clock? Yeah, you just go gung ho and attack like there was no tomorrow. So the idea is to just march the heck up here. Castles, rook across, mate. Any questions about that? Any problems? Any doubts? Oh, come on, mate. That's lame. Don't do that. The attack is coming, buddy. Oh, come on. No. I mean, this is a disastrous move, leaving this open, but maybe king b1, bishop c1, knight away, and then I will be allowed to play f4 one day. If he plants a bishop here, I'm essentially done, but it's okay. It's a okay. Okay, let's give him some time. Time is good. I'm curious what he will do with his time. Bishop f4 is the obvious move because once that bishop lands in there I can't kick it out without swapping pieces so and every swap takes him far closer to a so desired victory. <laughs> uh, I can't even believe that I'm playing this. <laughs> God. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, okay, while he's thinking, I would like to grab the opportunity to thank, thank everybody for generously supporting the channel. And that includes the Patreons, including 
the incredible Philip. Um, and also I would like to mention that as per expected my latest video about openings has sparked quite a bit of debate and but mostly it was positive opinions that uh, came in so that was good to see and positive comments too so it looked like uh, I sort of found my audience with that and my last few videos have been actually very successful in terms of number of views and so I would like to maintain that and traditionally my Patreon videos actually score really badly so I don't really expect this one to fare too well but this is my way of repaying those people who support me in many different ways and if this is what they find most fun I'm doing it and I have to be honest I'm having more fun here probably than in any other cases of my Patreon rewards because this is where I'm feeling like this is the ultimate unwinnable uphill battle like I don't even know what I'm doing and why and how and what's happening. I don't actually know why I dropped back there. I wanted to play. Oh god, I blundered B3. That was bad. Okay, had he taken, I would have resigned. So something like queen up and knight takes a4 is the most practical way to absolutely butcher me or bishop here and just swap it off and I don't have any convenient retake. So I have to come back now. <laughs> so much about the king side attack. Oh god, this is so cool. <laughs> oh yeah, yamo. And because of my incredible generosity, now it's impossible for him to lose on time. So this one is going to be decided on the board, that's for sure. And this time he's playing actually far better chess than beforehand. So, yeah. Bring it on, Philip. Come on, mate. You need to beat me now. E5 is good. Guarding the pawn. Securing this guy here. He's gonna play a5 though because he's worried about the pawn or that. Which was in fact not really a very good idea. Because of that stuff was hanging there. But even then, once he plays bishop c3. Oh okay, actually not quite right, because after rook here, bishop here, I'm going to avoid the swap. Oh no, stop that dude. That hurt. Wow, that was the ugliest move I've ever played in my chess life. <laughs> okay, bishop c3, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have anything here, guys. I, I really don't. Like, this is so resignable, it's not even funny. <laughs> I will have to put a please don't watch it tag on or thumbnail on this video. Okay, now this, however, walk up the competitor in me. Check here, rook here. If he plays queen f4, I will resign. Uh, and I'm going to start the next game of 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gone. Um, well done, dude. All right, now I'm coming for you, buddy. You stirred me up. Um, so I'm gonna give you 10 minutes and I'm coming for you as hard as I can. All right. Now I'm, I'm trying my hardest to win. And I think I'm going to do some similar strategy to what I did before. Stopping d5 wouldn't have been a bad idea, or at least responding to it. Ah, it's fine. He can't stop pieces, so it's all a-okay. Okay, let's put this bishop here so that I'm ready to castle here. <laughs> See the deep strategy. <laughs> okay, we need to kick that knight out.
That's kind of embarrassing that my first six moves I spend nine seconds. That's totally unexpected, uh, unacceptable, and unexplainable too. Like, dude, what are you doing here? A6, wow, alright, I'm going to start pinching pawns now. Wow, I didn't expect that one, but that was clever. I'm not sure if he saw the fact that after takes I can't take there because of the check, so I have to do this. But, whatever. Oh, even more painful is the fact that bishop e5 is going to become a possible swap on this diagonal once he takes back here. I don't know why he's thinking. D4? Really, dude? Why? The only problem is that this one comes with a tempo. And I really didn't want to drop back here, but I have nothing on the diagonal because after bishop here, pawn f5, I'm struggling. <laughs> okay, now e3 is threatened. Brace yourselves. But actually, bishop e5 followed by knight c6 fends it off, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's face it, guys. I'm, I'm really struggling here to provide meaningful commentary. Like, I'm just walking to the slaughterhouse every single game, no exception. Bishop here is gonna be really painful. Really, really painful, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm going to take this and then I will just close my eyes and pray and hope for the best. And he thinks, he commented on it. Oh, shivers. So now I'd simply take on G1 and once again I'm out. Damn it. Just... And now check here wins the piece. And the game. In fact, it yeah, it hits two pieces <laughs> plus my king. It's like 50% 50, 50 of my pieces are going to be won by this queen check. <laughs> oh, God. you got to love this. <laughs> and even if he plays something like bishop takes f2, which I think he will do. Oh, wow, we found it. Good on him. Right, that's a goner again. All right. This is uh, not really fun, I have to admit. But it's about his having him having fun, not me. So <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, ah, God, I'm too vain. I will try. One more try with 10 minutes. One more try with 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to play, try the hippopotamus this time around. Okay, let's go. Hippo. Good old Hippo. Oh, I gave him 50 minutes extra. <laughs> Damn it! He forced me into typing. Me losing two seconds. Mm. Alright, well, this is gonna be go fun. I had to defend knight b4. Ridiculous it may sound, but when you don't have a queen on d1, it's quite annoying. All right, hippo for president, guys. Hippo for the president. So I'm gonna push pawn up here, castle, tuck my king away, and I'm not gonna do a thing. I will sit tight. Okay, so now he's provoking me into a king's gambit. Uh, sorry, king's Indian structure, which I'm rather happy about because that keeps the position closed. And I am uh, ready to go with f4 very soon. I just need to defend against knight g4. So h3 is incoming, followed by f4.
There you go, buddy. I might walk my king down here. That sounds like a good idea because it takes a lot of time. As in three moves. But nah, stuff it. I want to win a game where I'm productively, actively hunting the guy down as opposed to trying to win on time. I would be super happy if he didn't take it. Is then f5? Oh, brilliant. f5? <gasps> Shivers! Ah! Please move that bishop. Please. Please. Dang it. Too good. Come on, man. Stop playing well. I couldn't afford take, take, and then losing this. It's too easy. I prefer to keep the position closed, even the cost of a piece. And uh, maintain my dreams about hacking. Yeah, I feel the power. This is doable, boys. This is doable. Is everybody feeling the vibe and the hype? Sure, he's not going to take me, but I removed that just in case. <clears throat> All right, bro. I'm coming for you. Bishop here or knight here and then g5. <laughs> and go. The oh man, that was the worst possible move to make. That was really handy. If I could, I would do that, 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 and then drop the bishop back here to cover up my only weakness. Won't have time for it. But sounds like a dream. Funnily enough, this is the game where I think I have got realistic chances of winning. Despite of the fact that uh, on top of my beloved queen, I'm also down a piece. I'm going to play bishop f3 just to test the waters once the knight drops back to here. Because maybe if he gets some funky ideas in his head about regrouping pieces, I may be able to get away with this regroup. Which would be really good. What? Okay. That's a dirty piece. I don't want to take that. I like ponies. Bring on the ponies, mate. H4 next. Or rather king f2. I don't know. I would really love to get that rook across and then bishop back. If I could do that, I would be so happy. Because that's a harmonious setup. Funnily enough, even here you learn harmony and ideal peace placement and all the jazz okay if he wants to open this one up for me so be it in fact if he takes i might take them no i can't steal oh wow really okay that came handy i'm hoping that um after takes bishop takes he's gonna take here no he took it right away which was a little bit better because now after takes rook g1, he has queen g4 check, or and queen e3 check too. Shite. Wow, this is so bad. Hmm. Well, we'll have to test. If he sees this, we die. If he goes for this check, we we'll, we we'll still keep on kicking. Hmm, we died. That's a bit sad, but I gave it a good crack. I really did. But sadly, by now, he realized, sadly for me, as a player, so happily for me as his coach, that uh, when you are playing a queen up, hanging on to every single piece you have is not necessarily the smartest way to win games. He didn't take my piece. Yeah. This is hanging though. Okay, let's go check. Hopefully, he doesn't go there. Go to the corner, buddy. Ah, come on! Hmm. Nah. 10 minutes is too much. 
Like, I didn't even think I could beat him with five minutes, but I did. Wow. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Okay, let's do one last. This is a struggle house. This is massive struggle house, but uh, I will repeat the hippo. I think it it is my best chance and I need to refine it a little bit. And I need to play it a tad bit faster too. Actually, uh, I was considering this. Let's do this. Going back to my original intention of... Uh, oh, I forgot to give him time. Yeah, whatever. If that's alright, I should rather be doing it in his time, not in mine. Yeah, that will do. I forgot about that. So f4 would be a good one to put in uh, to push in because after e5 f5 once again, I achieve that call structure where I have some initiative here. Hmm, let's see. On d4 I have e4 without compromising this. So this is looking like something. And now e5 f5 would be really good. That is my ultimate hope. I need to regroup this knight so that the bishop can come back because now it's a horrid piece on b2. I have a lot of moves that I badly need. It would be really good if in the meantime he was not allowed to play moves but that's not how chess works. So yeah. Let's see. I feel the power. I feel the power, boys. We'll have this one. The last laugh will be ours. I really don't want to castle here yet. Because that's what he's expecting. He's thinking, which is a good thing for him. b5 is a good move allowing bishop a5 pinning me here offering swaps preparing for c4 and so on he says he's not happy He won three games in a row. He's a queen up and he's complaining. Hmm. All right. G5 would have been the more logical move to play, but I'm trying to play psychology here. And by moving up all these four pawns, I'm basically sort of indicating that I'm coming at you with all I have. Watch out. Hmm. It's so annoying that ridiculous moves like these cause me a lot of headache. Hero castles. The castles, he didn't expect that. Yep, I was worried that this would come. Yeah, this is gonna be a very tough one to pull off, especially with queen b8 now, the bishop not hanging, knight a5 is good, knight e7 is good. Hmm. 
Actually, 97 is particularly good because that allows this. Yep. Well, <laughs> I, uh, the problem with this whole queen down business is that I need way too much contribution from him to play ridiculously appalling chess to make it work. Like, why the heck did he take with the bishop when after knight takes queen b7? I was again about to resign. I don't know, but yeah, I'm totally dead anyway. Yeah, this is, was uh, not competitive enough, I think, but, yeah. All he needs to do is come in, come in, and all my pieces are gone. Yeah, it's hopeless, all right. Thanks, bud. Oof, that was tough. That was tough. We will have to come up next time with a better idea because 10 minutes queen down. That is just too much, too much. All right, thanks for guys for tuning in. Um, if you have got any ideas about what other things I can offer in general for Patreon rewards, by all means, don't hold it back. Other than that, I will be back with some other cool videos very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.